All hail the beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we are here with a fragrance review on a house that I have yet to discuss on the channel in any way, shape, or form. The fragrance house that I'm talking about is one that is pretty exclusive and one that a lot of people out there enjoy. This fragrance house that I'm talking about is Roja Parfums, and the fragrance that we are talking about today is Vetiver Parfum Cologne. Now, if you know anything about the house of Roja, it can get quite expensive, but this Parfum Cologne series of fragrances are a good starting point if you're looking to explore this line. Now, a little bit about this line is he was really looking to um, create these fragrances that had that 15 to 20% concentration, but still had the freshness of a Eau de Cologne. Now, did he succeed? <laughs> We'll talk more about it. But before we do that, I'll give you a little bit about the presentation. Now, this is my second time recording this video, so the box has already been crushed. Now, across this entire line, you saw some similarities as the bottles were all different colors, but you still had that gold accent on all of these. Now, as I said, with this fragrance here, it really set out to be something that is fresh, inviting, and welcoming. Now, there are a number of notes in this fragrance, and I'll have them listed on the screen, but to me, some of the key players in the notes for this fragrance are obviously the vetiver, right? With the name of vetiver parfum cologne, you would expect the vetiver to be there. There's also this freshness in the top with this bergamot and lemon, and then you also get a bit of spice in here, and I'm not sure if it's from the black pepper or the nutmeg that you get here, but it does come off as a nice, high-quality scent that I've been happy to have thus far. Now, although I have originally um, saw the full review on this from Dan over at the channel Center Waters, I walked in, walked in, I clicked on the video, I was watching it like, hey, sir, you said this one is better than Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver, I must check it out. He actually ended up sending me a sample of that fragrance, and then my good people over at Max Aroma hooked me up with this bottle for review. Now, as always, all impressions and thoughts of this fragrance are my own, but I figured I'll let it be known. So in case you're wondering, like, why did they send you this specific bottle? Well, because I asked for this specific one, because it's a fragrance that I have liked and enjoyed. I actually used the entire decant that he sent me, so <laughs> there you have it. Now, let me tell you about this fragrance. What immediately hooked me on this fragrance was really the opening, okay? And the opening in this fragrance, to me, is really, really enjoyable. On first spray of this one, you get that vetiver there. It's definitely alive and well, but you get that bergamot and that lemon or blasting showing up to the party like, what's up, dude? We are here. Now, vetiver used in fragrances is a bit like a catch-all note. Because you see it in a lot of fragrances, but it, vetiver in itself can do so many things. If you look at the write-up on this fragrance, it talks about vetiver with any fragrance having the ability to be smoky, to be earthy, to be woody, and you can definitely really feel that in essence within this scent. As I said, in the top of this fragrance, you get something that is really bright, it's sparkling, it's inviting, and it's really provides you this cooling feel or something that tells you that this thing can be worn in the cooler weather. Now, like I said in the beginning, that this one comes from the House of Rosia, which is typically known to create scents that are luxurious, rich, and upscale. And although this one is on a lower entry point, although it's not cheap, it's on a lower entry point, um, this thing still is an affordable scent, but it still maintains all of those qualities that we talked about. It still has that luxurious, it still has that um, upscale type of vibe. And it's a fragrance that has the ability to go both ways for me. When I say both ways, I'm talking about a scent that you can wear in the office or you can wear this thing casually. Now, in a normal situation, if you were going day to day in your office routines, this thing here could be a signature scent, especially for those of you who have a bit more power within your role and you want something that's going to help you stand out and still smell like an authority figure. That's one of the things that I did like about Tom Ford's Great Vetiver is that it had this nice business professional type of vibe, but this thing here just takes it up a bit more. Now, if you are a fan of Grey Vetiver, you're likely going to enjoy this fragrance just as I have. As again, um, it has that same type of vibe which you get with that Vetiver, but 
it has a bit more freshness to it. And I think that that's something that really sets this fragrance apart versus some of the other vetiver dominant fragrances out there, which is all he was really trying to do, right? Get that same freshness that you would get in the Eau de Cologne version packed into something like this. And I think he did a good job. In terms of an overall rating for this fragrance, I'm going to give this one a solid nine out of 10. I think that's actually better than a solid. I think this one gets a nine out of 10. Really, really nice fragrance in my personal opinion. The only thing I think that this one lacks is maybe a bit of versatility as I'm not sure that this is gonna be the best fragrance for you to wear in the winter time. But aside from that, this one can work for you in the early fall. This one is definitely going to be a spring and summer fragrance for me. And again, that freshness in this fragrance really makes it a lot different than some of the other vetiver dominant fragrances that we have out there. All in all, great fragrance from the house, Erosia, one that I'm happy to have. Shout out once again to Max Aroma. I don't have a discount code with them or anything like that. So if you're looking on their site, check them out. Again, tons of steals and deals available for you guys and girls out there. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard Beard. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we all back again and you already know what I need you to do just hit the goddamn damn